So you're thinking about buying, selling, investing in Gulf Shores, Alabama, Orange Beach, and the surrounding areas? Well, today I am doing a final walkthrough for one of our out-of-town clients who just closed on this investment property, or is closing today, I should say. And um, as you see me walk through this, you're going to see me pointing out a number of things uh, this buyer has actually been through this property and we pointed we went through all of this while he was here but i'm gonna um, be pointing them out more as a reminder for him than anything else but we did end up getting a really good deal on this property it's a four bedroom three bath in morgantown you can see the gulf right behind me um, this is going to be an excellent rental property for them we are closing at six hundred and fifty thousand dollars and we ended up getting twenty thousand dollars in seller paid um, concessions so we did really good on this property as you'll see it, it does need a little bit of work um, overall it's it's rent ready right now but it could use some improvements which i'll be pointing out uh, i think you're going to want to check this one out so come take a look with us Hey guys, if this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, and ring the little bell so you can be one of the first ones to learn everything there is to know about the current market conditions in Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, and the surrounding areas. My name is Aileen Fountain, along with my partner Andy Hollis and our entire team. We do these videos each and every week just to be informative, just to let you know what it's like to actually live here. So whether it's nine days or 90 days from when you're thinking about buying or selling or moving here, give us a call, shoot us a text, email us, set up a Zoom. We'd love to meet with you face to face. We get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you every single day, and we do absolutely love it. So as I mentioned, uh, come check this four bedroom, three bath house out with us in Morgantown. Got us, got our, we're getting our buyers some really good deals right now. Has to be the right situation. Uh, luckily we were dealing with a seller who was um, very reasonable and understood the things that needed to be done to this house to really make it um, a top dollar property and so he was willing to negotiate and I really feel like uh, we got a great deal for the buyer and it was still a fair deal for the seller so anyway come check it out
kitchen is fully stocked. I just checked all the cabinets. So this slider here, <clears throat> that side has lost its seal. You can see here, this one is clear. Um, door also, it, it doesn't open and close amazing, but it, it is functioning. The decking and stairs were all replaced. Roof does need to be replaced. And we're gonna, uh, we already have a roofer lined up to do that work in the fall. Bedroom number one here is a kid's room. I believe those are two sets of queen bunks. Nice little Pac-Man edition there. I'm sure that helps with giving a little extra on the rental. And this bathroom here. Closet here has got a stackable washer and dryer, but uh, does appear to have room in there for a full size. Sink, toilet. So each side has a sink and toilet with the tub being here in the center. Two toilets, two sinks, one shower here on this ground floor. As you can see, there is some damaged siding, which we also have uh, that being addressed and that work is, is already lined up as well. I am recommending that the new owner come in and replace every single light bulb with the daylight LED lighting, which I think is going to make this area a lot better. I can't, that is very dim there and that light there is completely out. Also just new, new comforters things like this, uh, you can really swap that stuff out very economically and just freshen this whole place up with just doing some minimal things like lighting, touch up paint, new, uh, new bed covers, those kinds of things will definitely improve the property without costing a lot of money. You know, I would change out that light fixture there. Got some separation of the floor right there, which I know we noticed that as well. King size bed here. A 
know that they are gonna replace this mirror. And I'll go ahead and change out that light fixture too. The lighting's a good bit better in here. Oh, look, there's some white bulbs right there. Just needs to be the daylight. It makes a big difference. Um, notice that there is a little, the handle's missing from that blind and also this one here. So I think that can be replaced fairly easily. And then here off the primary, they have replaced the decking. And you can hear the water. It's gonna be a nice little spot for coffee or wine, or both. I'm gonna zoom in. You can see the water there between the houses. It's a really pretty day. folks out on the golf cart chatting it up. Fort Morgan Road is just um, a couple hundred yards that way. hanging chairs. I think this is a really nice feature of the property. Some rocking chairs. A little grilling station there. You got dual charcoal grills. Plenty of parking down here. Uh, all this underneath, the pilings, the uh, wood up underneath, all of this is in really good condition. All right, guys, that's going to just about do it for today's uh, video walkthrough of this four bedroom, three bath, a little over 2000 square foot home in Morgantown, uh, down Fort Morgan Road in Gulf Shores. Uh, to put things into perspective, it's probably about 18 miles down Fort Morgan Road. Uh, this is a unique niche market called the Fort Morgan area market. Uh, it's still um, very popular for, for renters. But you can get a better uh, price per square foot. Uh, real estate is a little bit better priced down the Fort Morgan Road area, um, but they still rent relatively well uh, compared to the purchase price. Uh, certainly get a better price here than in uh, Gulf Shores or down West Beach or in Orange Beach. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, we hope to see you around town. Mm -hmm.